So I wanted to show you how to do some, some minor repairs on a small model, especially one like this that's covered in tissue. As you can see here, I landed in the, the rough area of our field and tore up this landing gear a bit. It's about ready to come out completely. But if you can look here, it's also pulling up some of the tissue with it as well, as well as in the back here. So the first thing that I want to do is so I can review the structure and make sure the wing is not compromised is to carefully cut free the surrounding tissue. So I'm just going to use a sharp number 11 blade here. So I removed the wheel pant and spat here. You can see that it broke pretty cleanly, but I'm not seeing any major structural issues. What I'll end up doing is probably cutting back some of the tissue here. I might be able to salvage this section by gluing it to back down to this particular rib, fixing this rib, and then putting a small little patch in there. So this model for the, the wheel pants has a main rib here which goes the full length of the wing and a sub rib right here which ends at stringer number two. The main rib seems to be mostly intact. There's a small section that's missing right here. I'll go ahead and just sort of put some filler balsa in there and make it fit. This sub rib is pretty much destroyed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean cut this section here. I'm going to create a new sub rib and then look at fitting the wheel pant back in this area. So I'm going to use a straight edge to as cleanly cut this, the tissue as possible. It's not going to be perfect, of course. And trim up along that line there. You see that full sub rib came out completely. All right. So what we have here is the number one stringer and this piece here is the sheer web. So we're going to try and glue those back together using CA or wood glue. some PVA glue that I have here to help stick down some troubled spots. In the tissue. So a little bit of on the surface. Yes, it might put a little bit of shine on the tissue, but it will help strengthen it considerably. added this scrap piece underneath the, the, the covering here. And really this is to help box in the good covering we have left. I'm going to do a small section there as well. So this is just some scrap stringer I have from another project. Exacto. And that allows me to get in here. that 
dry. Then I'll use covering glue to get this tied down to the surface. So we've got the wheel pant here and I want to do a little bit of cleaning up. Most of the wheel pant part is there. There was a section that broke out there. But I can, if I'm careful, find out where that goes back in. Let's see. That's how that fits. So I'll go ahead and I'll put some glue on that. The other thing is I've got some of that subformer right here that's still attached. So I'm going to very carefully with my scalpel trim that away. covering there, but it's not going to work. Sanding block. So I've replaced the subformer here and tied it into the wing spar and shear web. Uh, I've trimmed up the tissue right here and I've lightly tacked it down here. The next step will be to cover this area with uh, scrap tissue. So our patchwork is completed here. You can see the tissue has been uh, tightened up as it dries. We'll go ahead and we'll trim out this section here for the wheel span. also was the core of the wheel pant or wheel spat is 1 16th ply. There is layers and laminations of balsa on either side of it. I trimmed down to the actual plywood itself because these have gotten sanded and beat up over the time. So I've, I've replaced one side. I'm going to try the fit and see how it goes. That looks pretty good. What I'll do now is I'll test what thickness works best with some scrap here against that there. 
So we find the right thickness and fit for this. All we have left to do then is to glue this back in place. I'm going to be using Type Bond wood glue. That's going to allow me some additional time to get everything set up. So I'm going to first mount the wheel pant in the wing and then look at it to make sure that they are 90 degrees to the ground. Check that alignment with the, with the flat surface of the table here, and we'll be back after that. So here the wheel pant is glued back in place. It may be some slight distortion of the camera, but these are perfectly perpendicular to the table. Hope this was helpful in showing some basic repairs on your model. Please like and subscribe, and check out our next video.